there's a song, Whistle While You Work. But I just like to shout out heavy metal lines. It's so much better. Look at this. Oh, they just brought us some goodies from fueling the 472 cam. Watch it, buddy. We're gonna clean this up and get all the cosmoline and the packing grease on it. Run it. This is a new cam designed by Fueling 472. They pretty much designed it for the 117 CBO engines. And look what we just happen to have a 117 CBO. We're gonna put this bad boy in here. We're gonna dyno tune it and then we're gonna sell this to some lucky customer that just wants to uh, have the very best right out of the box. And look what else we got. We got some of these little sausage looking things. We got this box. It's got a badass flag on it. Got this other box. Look, it's got the, the wrenches, you know, like the fueling and crossbones. And they've got, got these. These are strong. They're big. These are from fueling. These are so much better than the stock ones because, I mean, look at this. I mean, duh. Right? All fueling parts made in America. As we've said before in our videos, these fuel these cam plates by fueling, they are port matched to the ports in the engine, which fueling has found that is the best thing that they could come up with engineering wise to make sure that we have maximum flow. We have a video that goes all about over the oil pumps and cam plates, and it's right here. And if you watch closely, it'll move. And now the link is right here. Because that's how we roll. We move links all over the place. Look, here's a link to a video, and here's a link to a video, and here's a link to another video. All right, I'm getting carried away. So if you just wait for me to snap, I'm gonna come right over here to the bike. Behold, the fueling crank runout tool, part number 9014. They also have one for twin cams. This ad is not sponsored by fueling. They just make good stuff. I spin the crank. The dial moves. Our max run out is four thousandths. Well within compliance. I will attempt to remove the heart of the cam operation, the inner bearing. I think I have just the tool. Changed my shirt to a different color and now I don't remember where my tools are. Ah. Oh. Look at this, look at this. This is called Money in the Bank right here, and it is a Screamin' Eagle F-17, like the fighter. Ugh. Got it. Look at that. Clean extraction. No bumps, no bruises, no blood. Straight out. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Such a peaceful creature. Stock sucks. Listen, everybody knows you can't use too much lube. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> you can use too much lube, and it's not pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just slide everywhere. You're like, you're like trying to do it, and you're just like, ah, oh, god damn it, I can't even hold on to anything. <laughs> That's the part of the film you don't see. They're just like, dude, we gotta get some of this oil out of here. Oh, oh, like that. Uh, he said it didn't match with the hole. Look at this. Yeah, on the diagram, it does not go in that hole. Well, the diagram has everything out in space, so you have to. But you have to imagine everything made it together. So once I have the cam in place, and the oil pump, generous amounts of lube, I will now install the plate of power. Lube of power. Oh, man. <laughs> See? I have so much lube, I can't even squeeze the lube too. Because it just squirts out of my hand. There's several ways to install this. You know, you can put... Some people attach the uh, oil pump to the plate and put it in as assembly. I don't like to do that. I put the pump in, make sure that it's seated, that the o-ring feels good, and then I put the plate on afterwards. And then I install the plate screws in such a fashion that they are done correctly, precisely, right on time. And I always follow the manufacturer's specifications. And I'm going to reiterate that right here. Oh. 
Oh. Wait a minute. These aren't sausages. These are Fueling's Limited Travel Race Lifters. Eating these is not healthy. And it even says on the box, it causes cancer. Oh. Or is that living in California causes cancer? Something, something to that effect. Anyway, these are super cool. You can read about them right here. We always use the billet taffet cuffs instead of the plastic stock tappet ta ta cuffs that have all this flex. We always use these billet ones for extra rigidity. Whenever we do any of our stage two stuff, just because, you know, it's like $50 and you're here. We do it because we can, okay? Because we can. And you can too. We care about you. If Jan can cook, so can you. So we're gonna switch these chrome ones out to black, the, the covers, and then we'll install the super rigid, high speed fueling push rods. Not chopsticks, they are dishwasher safe. Uh, you can, it's hard to eat rice with these. Large chunks of meat though, fairly simple. There's a tool for every job. Temperature heat resistant. Yeah, well, they do get warm. They get warm. <laughs>